Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the twins, Lila and Elijah, or Elijah and Lila. Um, now, these are the new Celestials. I was lucky enough to pull one copy of them, so mine are stuck at Elite. And these guys are absolutely amazing. However, they do have one big downfall, but we'll go through all that in this video. So the first thing we're going to look at quickly is their skills. I did go over them briefly in another video, but I want to just go over them again just so you guys know because I don't think these are a hero that too many people would have played with thoroughly. So um, basically, their ultimate, it just has this bit at the top about how they have a shared health bar and they have 30%, 5% extra health. Trust me, that 35% extra health disappears in two seconds when they're only at elite. So it doesn't really, make, you don't really notice that from where I'm standing. But basically, when they use their ultimate, it's a big haste buff, but it also removes all negative effects from all allied heroes and prevents them from being controlled for four seconds. Now that is absolutely amazing. That, that skill up is so good and the haste is amazing too. It's an absolute beast of an ultimate. The four seconds um, of being immune to control, you can probably already see that this is gonna help out as well. With if, if you manual play really hard against Soren, you, this can make you basically avoid his charm um, because you will have it up every time he goes to use it, just about. And especially if you have something like a um, Lucius to combo that with. But even just on auto, it does sometimes help out and get you across the line. But amazing skill for that. And just in general, being able to be immune to CC. And then, all, like, you know, if you're fighting against a Tassie, you know, you see it getting ready to do his ultimate or something like that, you think it's just about there. You pop this, you can avoid all that CC absolutely amazing skill and the damage output from um, your team after they use it as well is huge from that haste buff so amazing amazing ultimate this one basically uh they restore hp to the weakest ally and they restore energy to the ally with the highest energy basically simply that's pretty much the gist of that skill not too much to it that's what it is the 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 final skill does have a link into this skill so we'll talk about that in a second then we go to this one. Um, basically, if the girl is if the girl is affected by uh, control ability, the other one will remove it and put a shield on her. Um, if the guy is a f is um, being attacked, if the, or if an enemy goes near um, the guy, then the girl will teleport to him, uh, knock them back, and deal damage. I'm pretty sure I got that the right way around. But yeah, um, that's pretty much the gist of that one. It's because they're fighting independently; they're sort of helping each other out. Don't really notice the effect of this one too much, but you know, I guess it's nice. Uh, the final skill, um, the last two allies to be affected by the grace ability, which was this one here we were talking about, how one, get he one gets healed, one gets energy. Um, the last two enemies to be affected by that, sorry, last two allies to be affected by that, um, will be in a state of union, and they both take 30% of the damage that is inflicted upon the other. So basically 30% of the damage either one takes is then absorbed by the other one, which is going to be sort of important in a way when, you know, you got one that's at the front row that's getting hit and, you know, taking a bunch of damage and you really want to soften that damage by, like, on an ally in the back row. Something like that. That's how it's intended to work. Um, but when you get skill ups into this one is when it gets really nice. I'm just short on dust from getting a full team to 141. So when I do get that, this will help as well. But it also increases the attack and defense ratings of the two heroes um, by percentage of what the other heroes attack and defense ratings are, if that makes sense. So um, person A has a hundred attack, person B is gonna get an extra 20 attack from that, that effect because it's 20%. That's the basic gist. And then the, the skill up after that, they also gain crit rating, they gain dodge rating, accuracy, and leech life. So really, really nice just buffing those two characters. But the main thing about these guys is going to be their ultimate. It's absolutely amazing. So what we're going to do is I'll show you right now the massive downfall to these guys. Unlike a lot of these heroes that we're getting, kind of like the Rowan and the... Um, and the Rosaline and stuff like that, how they have like, you know, their own personal passive survival. They can sit in the back row and dodge it. The problem with these two is that one of them is melee, so runs forward and basically just gets destroyed. That's the biggest issue with it. Um, now, against the guild hunts, which we will do a Riz battle 
soon. Um, I don't have Sauron available, so I can't do Sauron, but um, basically for the Guild Hunts, it's okay because the damage ramps up, and by that time, for me, I have my Lucius Shield going on and all that sort of stuff, so it's not too bad. But in campaign, especially when I'm at a brick wall, where I'm using, you know, I'm using three elite heroes in the back row. I just struggled. So I'll show you what happens, basically. Um, you can see here, they basically, in melee range, they get run through. But the problem is my whole team gets one shot at the moment. Like, that's just the stage I'm at. You know when you're at a roadblock and you just can't do anything? That's pretty much where I am. But if you look at it up top, the, 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 the I think it's the girl that runs in and does melee attacks, just runs in and basically gets killed. So it's really, really hard to keep them alive. Um, in this sort of state. So that's pretty much where they're at for campaign. I can't get them to work too well there. They work really well in the labyrinth as well. But what we'll do is we'll jump over here and go into the guild hunt. And this one. Okay. So this is the current team I'm using and I'm absolutely loving it at the moment. If uh, if my Belinda was mythic, I'd probably throw her in there. Uh, instead of Shamira, and then you'd get the, the five-man faction bonus, which would be really nice. But this team I'm actually really enjoying. Um, let me know what you guys think. I've been messing around with Rosaline far away from Shamira because Rosaline normally runs and then starts sweeping straight away. This way I find she runs straight to Shamira and then she throws a cup straight away, which I feel like is more damage, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But um, we'll jump into a battle and we'll just put it on full auto and see what happens. But you'll see, once they start rolling this haste buff, combine that together with a Rowan who's gonna be buffing um, energy bars, it's actually really nice. So you got that, we're going, and now we got the haste buff, everyone's moving really quick, and you'll see the ultimates just start coming really, really fast from this. So um, they're almost up to full again, and then obviously my Rowan is gonna use his again and buff everyone up, and then we're gonna be using ultimates again. So it, I really, really do rate them for this sort of content. I think it's absolutely fantastic for them. As you can see, they're dropping a bit low, but I do have that shield support. There you go. I had, they did two ultimates in about three seconds then. It was ridiculous, but you basically just have an endless haste buff, which is really, really nice. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't take Rosaline out. Maybe I could take Rowan out, but I just feel like this team has good synergy for me. Like I said, the only change I'd probably make is drop Shamira for a Belinda if Belinda was at the same rarity as the Shamira. But for now, this is working just really well. And like you see, they just end, endless haste buff, just absolutely endless. And obviously once I do get it to that 141 and they can start uh, giving that extra buff, it will be really nice as well. So just absolutely no complaints about this. Um, unfortunately, this is the only time I had to record today, so I couldn't wait until we had a Siren fight up, but for this account, getting around 12 mil is really, really solid damage. So this will probably close to 13 maybe if we get lucky. Okay, pretty much 13 mil damage, which is not too bad at all for this account. Like that, that's really, really solid damage, which I cannot complain about. The other place I do like using them, like I can show you in tower as well, but tower is very similar to... Um, to the campaign where I'm just at a stage where everything just gets one shot anyway. So it's just, it's too tough to actually try and demonstrate, but let's try. What I might do is, um, we'll just, we'll, we'll just put this in and see what happens. But basically, yeah, they just, they get, oh, they're actually surviving. All right. Oh, we got to lose your shield. Okay. Shimira. If we get the haste buff, we could be good. If we, ooh, nice. There goes the haste buff. And now we're immune to CC for this little period as well, which is really nice. Okay, I thought it was hard stuck there. Nice, okay. They worked, they worked. Having that Rowan stun was pretty clutch though to, to let them live at that zero HP. But that one there, they sort of, they hung back a little bit, which is interesting to me. Uh, this one, basically, Kassos at the moment is, is, basically my kryptonite because my back row is so squishy uh that they just drop i mean i could try some of these other heroes in there but the, the synergy is just not quite there maybe i'll have to swap it around but uh let's let's have a look i wonder who we're going to banish maybe unless we do this no and those those kassos basically are going to hit everyone on my team at least once so let, let's just jump in and see what happens here 
uh, as you can see, those throwing axes just absolutely melted me. Uh, maybe we can just Shimura solo this. Maybe. Rowan's got one potion left for Shimura. <laughs> oh no, that's overpowered. <laughs> GG. Nice. Okay, we'll, we'll 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 push this tower a little bit further until he gets stuck. But um, okay, no sauce in this one. We want to avoid the uh, the Estrilda because once again, she's another one of those annoying ones that charges through lines. So let's just leave it here and see what happens. So they're standing. Yeah, they're, they're getting hit by that AOE of uh, Vedan, which really hurt us there. So for those who wanted to watch some Shimiro solo action, this this is the video for you, I guess. Damn it, <laughs> spoke too soon. Okay, let's try that again. Um, I feel like there's no good spot for these guys in this battle because Estrilda's going to run through and then Vedan's also going to um, use his AoE, which destroys them. Like I said, it's that fact that one of them runs to melee range, which really does hurt the team. It just, it just makes them almost useless because against so many enemy, like against so many enemies, enemy, like enemy just units, they, they all have that little thing that's just going to catch you out with these guys. So that's, that is the big downfall because they are celestials. They're so hard to get, but you really do need those multiple copies to make them functional in the campaign and tower. However, like I said, in the guild hunts, perfectly good as is. Um, they can really buff your team to a certain point and also for Soren, um, unfortunately we didn't get it Maybe I'll do that in a later video just add it in but Soren really really nice because they do have that immunity to CC Which is gonna block that fear which is so nice. So that is gonna be it for this video guys Hope you enjoyed and I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers